everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing very well today so today's video i am really excited to do because i am going to try my best to start a ranking series here on my channel so today i'm going to start off with my bronzers i really thought that bronzers were a little bit easier for me to rank and talk about um, blushes and eyeshadow palettes and cream blush gets a little bit harder for me because i love those products so much and it's really hard for me to judge those products but i thought bronzer was a great place to start i did want to say that i did create a category or a ranking um what am i saying i created like a chart for me to rank my bronzers because i had a really hard time just you know basically throwing out rankings out there i had a hard time doing that um, so what i did was i created six different categories um, shade or color blendability ease of use uniqueness desire to use and worth the price so the highest that um, a bronzer could get was 30 30 points because there's um, the ranks are one through five five being the best one being the worst and there are six categories so six times five is 30 right so anyways basic math here <laughs> but I decided on those because I thought that that went really well with bronzers and I thought that that made it a lot easier for me to be able to rank so let's just go ahead and get into it I do have 19 bronzers to rank today um, these are the bronzers that are just like regular like powder bronzers so I'm not including any face products or excuse me any face palettes that have bronzers in them I'm not including cream bronzers um, I'm not including any duos for instance like if one had like for instance i have like a charlotte tilbury duo where it's like a highlighter and a bronzer i'm not ranking that just solely like single pan bronzers um so let's just get into it so i am going to be starting from worst to best so i'm going to be starting with number 19 and at number 19 i have my bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer this is the satin finish bronzer in the shade golden gal so here is what this one looks like this one the reason that it is ranking last place is because i just don't really care for this shade it's very light for me um i just honestly think that there are so many other bronzers in my collection that i much prefer and that's kind of why i'm ranking it so low i never reach for it i have zero desire to continue to reach for it so i am going to probably declutter this very soon but this one is ranking in at number 19 in last place now we have another bronzer and this is ranking in number 18 and this is my milani silky matte bronzing powder you guys are probably really shocked because this bronzer does really well here in the beauty community on youtube a lot of people really enjoy this bronzer i do have the shade 01 sunlight this is just very light for me I feel like it barely shows up on me and maybe i would benefit from the second shade more but this just barely shows up on me i think it blends well and i think that it's pretty easy to use however it's not very unique i think the line only has three shades which make which makes it very difficult for people to find their color um and it's not very buildable because i have to go in like multiple times for this to actually show up on me so this is one again that i might consider decluttering maybe one day i'll pick up like the next deepest shade but for now i am just not loving it and it's really a shade that just doesn't work for me therefore i don't use it very much so now moving to number 17 so this is actually solely because of the color nothing else and the price i guess but this is the mark jacobs omega bronze in the shade tantric i did pick this up at tj maxx or marshall's one of the two and the only reason that this one is ranking in at number 17 is so only because of really the shade it's a little dark for me if i'm being honest it's really really pigmented and i feel like i can easily look pretty bronzed with this one and go a little bit heavy handed with this one but not only that it is pretty pricey luckily i only paid about 16 dollars for this at tj but regular price this is like 49 dollars, and i definitely do not think it's worth that price and i like to keep that into consideration with my rankings because obviously if things are super expensive it's harder for people to access so 
This one is ranking pretty low on the list, not only because of the shade, but because of the price. And this is actually one that I'm thinking about just giving to my aunt. I think she'll really like this and I really am not reaching for it. So that is at number 17. Then moving on to number 16, I do have one from ColourPop, and this is their pressed powder bronzer in the shade Coconut Beach. I want to say this came out whenever the Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette came out. This shade is nice, however, I just do not think that ColourPop, their pressed powders or pressed blushes or pressed bronzers, are really good i always struggle with them i've tried to press blush and i wasn't impressed and even this pressed bronzer i'm not really impressed so i feel like that's what it is i just don't think the formula is very good and this is not even that accessible because it's only on their website so i would much prefer that you rec like i recommend that you just go to like walmart and pick up like the physician's formula butter bronzer or something rather than this because i just think that there's better formulas out there and better formulas that are more accessible so this one is ranking in at number 16. Now, moving on, we are on ranking at number 15. So number 15, I do have a pressed bronzer from Bare Minerals. This is the Endless Summer Bronzer in the shade Warmth. This is a newer bronzer to my collection. This is a nice formula. It's really nice and pigmented and buildable and blendable. It's easy to use. The shade is just not my favorite. There is a bronzer from Bare Minerals that I much prefer that you guys will see in just a little bit further down the video. I just think that um, this one is a little bit too deep for me, but nonetheless, I'm glad that I do have the shade Warmth in my collection. I do think that the shade Warmth is pretty popular within the beauty community, within like the Bare Minerals line. So I think it's, it's a good bronzer. It's just not my favorite. Moving on to number 14. So at number 14, this is solely because of the price, like no other reason. It's just the price. And this is my bronzer from Tom Ford. This I purchased, I'm trying to find it, dig it out. So this is the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer and I do have the shade 02 Terra. This I purchased at a, a cosmetic company outlet. This is the mini size and retail value is like 70 something dollars. And I got mine for 60% off, which is the only way I would recommend purchasing this one. This is a great color, a great formula. I think it's really, really good. However, the price, I cannot recommend it for the full price. I think if you can pick it up at a cosmetic company store for 60% off, that would be the best bet. I do think that for it being a mini, you do get a decent amount of product. So it's enough to really, you know, use it up, love it and kind of move on or repurchase it or something. But for the full price I can simply just not recommend so this is at 14 all right so now moving right along I'm trying to get through this quickly this is number 13 and this is my Maybelline city bronzer this says this says that it's a bronzer and contour powder I do have the shade 200 I want to say similarly to the Milani bronzer that I showed earlier there's only three shades in this line which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion I think that there should be way more bronzers available but this is what this one looks like it's pretty good for my skin tone um, I think it's a, a nice formula I just don't think it's anything remarkable or like significant I think it's good I like it I think it's a good like workhorse everyday bronzer but for some reason I just never really reach for it so that's partly why it's ranking so low at number 13 but um, you know I do like to keep it around I like to have Maybelline products in my collection that I can speak about because Maybelline is so easily accessible all right so moving down to number 12 I do have this Laura Geller bronzer this is the beach matte baked hydrating bronzer in the shade C Fiesta Medium. This is one that I did pick up from Marshalls or TJ. The formula is really nice. I love the embossment, how it kind of looks like a couch or a cushion or something. This is a really great formula. It's very, very blendable and buildable. It's a very, very smooth pigmented formula. But because Laura Geller isn't very well known here, it's kind of getting harder and harder to find. Um, it's harder for me to recommend this product because I don't know exactly where you can get it. Maybe QVC. I'm not sure, but this is a good formula. But whenever a product is 
not very well known or when a product doesn't really excite me, I notice that I don't gravitate towards it very much, which is probably why that this is ranking so low. Um, but I do think it's a really, really nice formula and I've been thoroughly impressed with a lot of Laura Geller's products. Just this one in particular um, is pretty mediocre. I think it's good, but it's definitely not my favorite bronzer, which is why it's ranking at number 12. Ranking at number 11, I do have the Milani Baked Bronzer. I have the shade Dolce. This is nice. It's very nice. However, there is one from the drugstore that I much prefer, especially if you're wanting a more luminous bronzer. I think the shade is nice. I think Milani does a great job with their complexion products, their complexion powder products. Um, of course, their baked blushes are very well known during uh, throughout this YouTube beauty space. However, I just find this a little bit dry. I don't, I find it to be um, a little bit chalky, not super, super like radiant or glowy on the skin. Um, there's one, again, that I'll talk about later throughout the video that will kind of give you an idea of what I recommend, um, especially if you're wanting a more like luminous bronzer. I think this is a good option. It's nice that it's, a, at, that it's at the drugstore and Milani is super accessible. Um, so I, I like it. It's just there's one that I gravitate towards more regularly. All right, so now we're at number 10. So we are pretty much halfway there. Um, I did want to say I like all of my bronzers. It's probably the ones that are ranking at like 19 and 18 and 17. Those are probably more so um, where I'm considering decluttering because I'm really not using them. They're really bronzers that don't excite me. But number 10, I do have the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is such a staple. I think this is a really great um, bronzer. It's a great everyday bronzer and I love the shade of Hula. I think it's a beautiful bronzer color um, for fit to light to even maybe medium skin tones this is just a mini like a deluxe size that i have and i actually prefer the packaging of this better than their stupid box formula their box blushes and bronzers uh i wish they would update those packages but anyways this is a really good one it's pretty you know standard a lot of people have talked about this bronzer i think it's a beautiful shade i think it's very nice and buildable and blendable um, it's easy to use and it's a really great everyday bronzer so really no complaints complaints about this one. So this one, it was number 10. So now let's move on to number nine. So we're underneath the, um, underneath 10 at this point. So this one, I'm honestly kind of shocked that it's ranking where it is at number nine because nine, while that's not the highest rank or lowest, but you know what I mean? Um, I still, it's under 10, which means it's still, I mean, pretty up there, but I don't really use it that much and it's fairly new to me honestly this is from the brand peri para which is a um, i want to say a k beauty brand i purchased this through yes style this is just their ink v shading so it's kind of like a contour like shading palette um, and this is in the shade almond brown so here's what it looks like you can tell that it does have like three different colors within the pan so i ranked this one or whenever i was doing like the ratings for this one and underneath the categories it honestly it ranks pretty high on a lot of things because it's a good color it's blendable it's easy to use it's pretty unique because it is a nice contour shade especially if you're very fair and you're wanting something that will work for you to, um, to contour with i think this is a great way to go it's very affordable because it's from yes style as well so i honestly don't have a lot to say a lot of bad things to say about this but I'm just shocked that it's at number nine because I really haven't used it that much and it's fairly new to me as well. But there's just a lot of like really good rankings with this one, like ratings, that's, that's where it landed. So that is number nine. So now let's go ahead and move down to number eight. So number eight, I have my Cover FX Monochromatic Bronzer Duo. So here it is. I have the shade Sunkissed Bronze. This is super, super stunning, you guys. I think this is a beautiful product. I love that you have a matte shade as well as a shimmer shade. It's so nice. This is really, really beautiful. Um, I love the shade of this. I love that it's pretty easy to work with for the most part. I will say though, it's so pigmented that sometimes I am a little frightful like and, and afraid to be very heavy or too heavy handed with this product I think that I have to be a little bit more like intentional and careful with where I place the product and with how much amount of product I'm going in with and at initial application but 
Really, I do think it's a really great product. I will say it's very expensive at $38. I don't think it's worth full price. I think if you can get it for like half off or even 30% off, that would be great. Um, I just don't like that cover effects is charging so much for these duos. Even the blush duo is very expensive, but I do think it's a really nice formula. And I like that you're getting the two options. I think it's great. So that is ranking in at number eight. So at number seven, I actually have my little mini size of my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. So again, this is a mini that I did pick up from TJ Maxx about a year or so ago. I love this bronzer. I think it's so, so pretty. It's kind of similar vibes to like the Milani um, baked bronzer as well as like the Cover Effects one where you're getting a little bit of like radiance and glow whenever you use this. I would love to have the full size in this one, but honestly, I think this mini is serving me just fine. But um, I think Too Faced is a little bit, little bit expensive um, as far as like their complexion products, but they do sell Too Faced at cosmetic company outlets. So if you're wanting to check out any of the bronzers, I do recommend this one and maybe picking it up there. I just think this is really good. I think it's very unique because of the fact that it has that luminosity to it. And I think it's a really good formula as well. So at number six, so we're almost there, you guys. We're almost at the five countdown from five down. But at number six, I do have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I do have the deepest shade where it's deep bronzer is the shade that I have, which is kind of ridiculous. I wish Physician's Formula would create more shades with this one because so many people love this bronzer. This is a great bronzer. So many people talk about this one and for good reason. I just think it's a really, really nice formula. It's super buttery, it's super smooth. Um, it can get a little bit patchy at times depending on like which brush you use. I have noticed that because it is so buttery and creamy. Sometimes it can like cling to certain areas of my face, but I just basically go in with like a, a, a brush that will be a little bit more like flexible that I can blend pretty easily but I like this one um, it is a little bit a little bit expensive being that it's physicians formula but you can often find this bronzer on sale like at Ulta or even like at Target maybe purchase it at Walmart where it's a little bit more um, affordable than at Ulta or Walgreens or CVS what have you but this is a pretty good bronzer and it is ranking in at number six at number five this is the bronzer that I think you should grab instead of the Milani baked bronzer if you are looking for that bronzer with like a radiance with a glow to it this is from flower beauty this is the heat wave luminous bronzer i do have the shade sunrise this is such a beautiful bronzer it is so beautiful this is um what it looks like i think the shade is really nice and honestly it has like that marbling to it which makes me, which makes me think that maybe they were trying to like imitate hourglass or something but i think this is really good i think that it's a little bit more smooth and a little bit more creamy than the milani baked bronzer which is why i like this one better i do think you have to be a little bit careful with this one it can look a little bit much if you're just applying it kind of recklessly but it's still forgiving nonetheless and I, I really like it I think that this is a really great bronzer for summer and it's a great option if the Milani one didn't work out for you I think you should try this one so ranking in at number four so we are getting there <laughs> Um, we are getting there. Ranking it at number four was a discovery of mine this year and I'm so glad that I purchased it because now I don't even know what's going on with the brand. So I'm glad that I went ahead and purchased it. I'm sorry my hair looks crazy. It has been super humid here and it's been raining and I just feel like my hair looks disgusting. I feel like my makeup looks disgusting but I am here to film this ranking video for you guys. But Coming in at number four, I have my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in the shade Tantastic. So again, I love this formula. I think it's really great. I said the same thing about the shade Tantric, but the shade Tantastic just works so much better for me. It really, really does. I love the massive pan that you get and the shade I think works so well for me. I think it's such a great shade. 
It also smells like sun, like sunscreen or suntan lotion. I love the scent of this one. Um, I think this is a beautiful shade. I think it blends well. I think it's buildable. I love that I can pretty much go ham and not have to worry about it going like looking crazy on me. I will say though, this is regularly priced at $49. I didn't pay that much. I did pay, I want to say like $35 or $31. I don't know if Mark, like what's going on with Mark Jacobs, like the brand, because everything is discounted and kind of sold out. So if you can find this on sale now, I highly, highly recommend that you pick it up. It's a great formula. Um, but if you are at all curious, um, about it and if it was any good I do think it's good and I do think it's really worth it and I'm so glad that I have it in my collection I also think the large white compact is so cute so this is at number four honestly it could probably be even higher it's just the expensive price tag in my opinion all right so ranking in at number three at number three this has completely stolen my heart especially over the past month um, I took it on I took it with me when we went to go see my family Family out of state and I loved it and even my sister loved it so much so that she even had to go buy herself one and this is the bare minerals loose bronzer in the shade faux tan this is a complete Jessica Braun made me buy it purchase this is just so stunning it is so so stunning this is the absolute most perfect bronzer for summer like if you want a glowy radiant luminous bronzer this is it you look new look no for look no further i think the flower one is great don't get me wrong but this is just so beautiful and it does something to my skin that none of my other bronzers do i would love to rank this at number one i really would but i have a reason why the reason this is not ranked at number one is because it is not easy to use it's not it is a loose bronzer which means i have to be very very careful with where i place this this is very pigmented so what i like to do is go in with a more like um of a, like a diffused brush so kind of like a what are those called like a stippling brush where it's a little bit more like the the bristles are a little bit more spread out so i can blend it a little bit easier and it's not so like dense and packed on one area of my face and that's why this is ranking at number three and not at number one although i would love to rank it at number one it's just a little bit harder to use there's a learning curve with this one this is a product that i cannot just like throw on real quick early in the morning and you know not even worry about placement or anything no this is kind of like i have to be thinking about what i'm doing and and very like focused in on how i'm applying this and things like that but when i have the time i love this it's so beautiful like i said i took it with me when we went to see family out of state and I loved it. I thought it was the perfect, perfect bronzer for summer. Love this one. Highly, highly recommend. And yes, it's a high-end bronzer. However, I think it's only $22 or $23. And because it's a loose bronzer, you do not need a lot. And I, so I think this would last you a decent amount of time. And so I honestly think the price isn't even that bad. Um, plus, if you can wait for like a VIB sale or maybe even an Ulta sale or something, I highly recommend that you pick this one up. Then moving on to number two. So we're almost there, you guys. We are almost there. I'm on number two, which means we only have one more left. And I cannot believe that I care so much about bronzer this year. I feel like other times I'm just like, eh, bronzer, whatever. It's just something that goes on my face and that's it, you know? But honestly, I've been really enjoying my bronzers this year. I feel like I've discovered some really, really great gems out there. And the funny thing is a lot of these products that I'm talking about have been around for a good while, which is kind of funny, but here we are. <laughs> But this is number two. This is my Ofra and Samantha March bronzer. This is in the shade River. This was part of her first collaboration with Ofra that came out last year. And this is just so beautiful. It's kind of similar to Cover Effects where it's a split pan. You get more of like a shimmery side here and then a matte side here. This is beautiful. This is way more approachable than the Cover Effects one because of the color of this. I feel like the Cover Effects one is so, so pigmented that I'm a little bit afraid of going to like heavy handed this one I'm not afraid of doing that I feel like I can just keep going in and going in and going in and it's never gonna look muddy I just think this is a really great formula I think Ofra has an amazing amazing formula when it comes to their pressed like complexion products amazing so that is ranking at number two so now 
drum roll please you guys are never gonna guess it you're never gonna guess it you probably don't even you probably didn't even know i had this in my collection and i'm honestly shocked and i honestly feel kind of bad that this is ranking at number one but when i was doing my rankings i put in all of the ratings one through five whatever and then at the end i put you know sort from smallest to largest and i was like you know what I'm not mad that that's number one. Like, yeah, I'm shocked, but I'm not mad about it. You know, it's whatever. This is a new bronzer to me. I think I've only had this for like a month and that's it. But I think it's really beautiful and I'm impressed. Another Jessica Braun made me buy it product. This is the L'Oreal Lumi, True Match Lumi Bronze It Face and Body Bronzer. I obviously only use it for the face. I do have the whitest shade, 01 Light this is so pretty so so pretty and honestly a lot of people recommend this one i watch a lot of i love to watch videos on like drugstore products that work like luxury products i love watching videos like that and this bronzer comes up a lot in those types of videos i feel like a lot of people say that this performs like a luxury product and i agree i think it's so so beautiful i absolutely absolutely love that it's kind of similar to maybe like the tom ford one in a sense where it's definitely more matte than let's say like this the cover effects one or like the bare minerals one the flower beauty one but it does still give you like that radiance that glow that luminosity to it where it still is a little bit more dimensional than just a flat matte bronzer i think it's so beautiful there's two other shades available they have a medium one and a deep one the light one does work pretty well for me i was worried it was going to be too light but no it works fine um again jessica braun really loves this she even like hit pan on hers which i'm honestly shocked because because she of course does have like a larger makeup collection so that shows that she loves it and I am so happy to finally have it within my collection and continue using it so I am not shocked that that's at number one because it's a great price you can always get L'Oreal on sale and um, I think it's a very unique product for the drugstore and I think it I think it's good I really do I also think the packaging is kind of cute with like the pink rose gold outline I think it's cute but those are all of my bronzer rankings. Those are all of my bronzers ranking from worst to best. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please, if you did like this video, or please, if you enjoyed it, like this video. And I would love for you to subscribe and be a, be a part of my YouTube channel family. I would love to have you. If you enjoy ranking videos, please stay tuned. Please subscribe because I definitely want to do some ranking videos for my blushes, my cream blushes, my cream bronzers, foundations. I should palettes yeah i should have palettes one is gonna take me a while just so you know because i have so many um but thank you guys so much for watching i would love to hear from you all in the comments what bronzers you have been enjoying thus far and i believe that's it i will go ahead and see you in my next video thanks guys bye